123 Sesame Street, a really, really cute Lego ideas set. Um, fantastic. This is set 21324. You're going to be paying $120 for it at 1,367 pieces. This is an 18 plus set and comes with six minifigures. Um, yes, they do count Oscar as a minifigure, which I find super funny. Um, beautiful, beautiful, super detail-oriented building. I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, so I'm super excited to show you guys. But first, let's go ahead and do the minifigures. So first, we have Big Bird, and he's pretty cool. He's a little bit rubberized, and they um, have him just being the, like, little... Uh, the, made the way the, the sandwich top, like Chewbacca. Um, really like his legs. Super cute. Good implementation of the wings. Very iconic and recognizable, especially those eyes. <laughs> then we have the cookie monster here, um, who I love how his eyeballs are crooked. Uh, he's holding a cookie, green, huge mouth. He is a uh, water surface dwelling predator because his eyes are on the very top of his head. Um, plain, they can really get away with not doing anything for the body since he's just blue fur, but I do like the shagginess on the back of his head. And then we have Bert, who reminds me of a banana on little short legs. Love his vest and his banana head and his unibrow, of course, with his little tongue and hair. Super cute. And of course, his turtleneck. And then we have his friend Ernie who is another super cute one with the little hair and the eyes, button nose, mouth, and sweater. And I really do like that since Bert's taller than Ernie, they gave him hinged mid legs and then um, Ernie's on short legs. Really cute. And then of course we have Elmo, all red, large eyes again, just like Cookie Monster. And then Fuzzy Head, he is carrying a book about cooking with oatmeal. And he is on, I don't know why these Legos are not clicked down enough. Um, he's on just short legs. And then we have Oscar, who I think is my favorite because he's just a head to trash can. He's just got this little body to help him stay in the trash can, but he's so cute. His little head is so round and he stays in pretty well. So those are the minifigures. Putting Oscar back in his home right there with the trash where he's happiest. Here we are. 123 Sesame Street. Um, super cool little New York townhouse looking building with a lot of detail as well as Hoover's store on the side. Um, notice the open studs here. I wonder if they will make more. We'll have to find out. But um, giving you guys a closer look here at little Oscar's place. I'm not sure what this tile means, but he's got a box of trash, a pizza box, a little trash bag, and a tire. And then I think this is a recycling bin. You can see a window into the basement and a little opening door here to kind of go into this yard. Really cute. Um, I like the attention to detail with this. We also have a little black and gray fire hydrant right there. Um, this little box that sits in front of Hooper's store um, that has a couple of things in it. Winter porridge storage, uh, shortage, so shortage, and then Super Grover saves the day again with a carrot and a banana. Grover's not in this set, neither is Mr. Snuffleupagus, nor is like the Count. Um, I don't remember everything from Sesame Street because it's been a long time since I've watched it, so I had to kind of like look up a refresher on some of the things. Um, here's little stoop, the little New York stoop with the double doors. Looks super cute. Um, I like the little lights and it says one, two, three and a clear tile up here. I also really like this detail in the very front of the building. I think it looks really, really cool. Moving to the side, we have the iconic street lamp and it looks so good. This was one where they really didn't want to mess it up. Love, love the one, two, three Sesame Street and the little ball on top to make it look a lot like a light. And this looks like custom printed to be part of the street lamp. It looks really, really good. Um, there's also a little mailbox or a book return or something. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't sit down. It really bothers me the way they made it with these like little needles on the bottom for the feet. It just sits there and it just drives me nuts. Um, so we'll just take a look uh, at probably the exteriors first. So just wrapping around here, we have Big Bird's Nest. So here's his home. He has a teeny tile, ma teeny tiny mailbox, a Snuffleupagus picture, and then he's got some roller skates and then his teddy bear in there. There's also a cute little drawing in the back and then Big Bird can be in his, he can just kind of sit in there with his bear, kind of, yeah, just like that. And it's actually really cute. You can move those little uh, uh, roller skates if you'd like and his little, that just sits there. There's also this tree which has this like little bird housey thing. And I don't know why, but my tree doesn't want to stand up. So it's a little weird. Um, there's a couple of detailings on the sides there. And then there is a small little bird house. And then going up to this window, there's some milk with some flowers on this window. And it's really, really cute. 
Taking a look at the outer side of Hooper's store, you have a nice little sign here. I like this little arched bricking detail and the door to Hooper's, just like that with a window. Looks really, really cute. Um, wrapping it around to take a look at this section here, we have some really fun details. Um, part of Hooper's, when you need it, Hooper's has it right there. And you can see a little street light as well as a fun little eating table with a chair and a flower. And then you can kind of see into Hooper's shop there, the little coffee shop with a nickel and a cup of coffee and the cash register on the other side. Um, and then looking over here, we have lots of flowers, little graffitied wall here with a character that I am personally not familiar with. Um, I like all the little flowers and, and stuff. And the, the fire escape kills me. It's so cute. It actually folds down. So if there's a fire, they're good to go. And then there is this little uh, potted plant right there. And then Biff and Sully's construction company really cute little advertisement there. Um, so that's basically the outside of the buildings. Now that we've covered that, let's take a look at Hooper's store and uh, this room in the corner. So the count is not included in this set, but this looks like his house because there's a picture of him. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. There's a couple little metal items here and a little bowl. I love this TV. I remember this character, but I don't remember his name. And I like how they made it a VHS player because that's like when Sesame Street was popular. That's kind of what the set is based off of. Um, love that this little VHS tape is sticking out. And then there is a little chair here and a uh, little ottoman with a cookie and a picture of a bus. Um, I don't, the only place where I don't know who anybody goes would be Elmo, unless this is a place where Elmo goes, but I don't think he has the picture of the count in his house. So I'm not 100% sure on that one there. Um, but inside, uh, Hoopers, there's just a little uh, chair and the cash register is up here. And then there's some printed pieces on the inside. It's really, really hard to get to, unfortunately. And moving on to the back um, of the main building, this is where the basement would be. And I really like the bricking for it, but there's just not any detail. You can't go inside of it, but it looks nice, like aesthetically, it's very nice. So I'm totally kidding. This is Elmo's room. It was Cookie Monster who I was thinking of. I didn't know if that was his room or not. Um, really cute. The front doors are here, uh, which is a little disconcerting. If somebody comes in, they're coming right into Elmo's room. But uh, there is a super awesome printed piece right there, like a little corkboard and a telephone, a big red rug and a little toy bunny, rocket ship. Super cute, a couple of drawers. I like this little train that's supposed to go under his bed, but I am curious as to how it does get under the bed when it gets there. A really nice build for the bed. There's a little picture of a bridge and a small light, and I really like these pictures, and I like Elmo with his dad. It's really, really cute. So there is his room, and it is a little bit open. Moving up to Bert and Ernie's room, and there's a lot more detail in this one. It's really, really cute. So there's a picture of Ernie and Bert, you got a nice little T-Rex, maybe a bowling ball. I like the little square lamp piece between the beds. It's really cute. The beds are matching. A well, good builds again to make it look like wood. And there's paper clips on, I guess, Ernie's bed. Um, this cute little poster of, I think they're buttons. Not 100% sure. And then we have a little couch with some books right behind it and a little rug. And then we have the bathtub with the infamous rubber ducky. Super cute, and then a little clock there, and that's even a little shower curtain in the corner. Really cute, and then the windows, of course, on the back. And the last part that we have is the little uh, roof, and we have a couple chimneys. This is a little UFO that just sits. They just want you to like set it right here, which is kind of interesting. Looks like a little dove box or like a bird keeper thing. I don't know, I've seen these before. You know, they're like in big cities and whatnot, but you got a couple of doves, and then of course a satellite dish. <laughs> So overall, a really cute set. There's a lot of detail. Everybody pretty much has a place to go. Uh, Big Bird's house is back here. We have Oscar, Elmo's in that room there. Bert and Ernie are upstairs and I guess I put Elmo there, but I meant to put Cookie Monster here, which I can see there is a cookie already there. So that might be it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but overall just a precious set. I really, really like this. I was super surprised um, when I, you know, took it out to do a review how much I actually like it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.